Welcome to My Week in Review, featuring Wichita textile artists in the grand opening of Georgia O'Keeffe Art Image Style at Wichita Art Museum in Wichita Pottery. First, Georgia O'Keeffe. This exhibit is awe-inspiring. It was incredible to finally be in the presence of her paintings, of course, but I think a lot of people don't realize that she was also a brilliant seamstress. This exhibit showcases a lot of the garments that she had sewn and wore, and to actually see with my own eyes the stitches that she made and the paint stains on her smocks and the wear on her dungarees, this was really something else. And the great thing about opening day at this exhibit is that the art museum invited several textile artists from Wichita to showcase their talent and their work. So they were right there in the thick of it, creating their O'Keefe inspired pieces. Stella Hankins is the first artist I want to talk about. I've seen her work online and I love her bright, bold designs, which are printed onto silk scarves and then hand finished. It was really exciting to get to see her work in person. And if you go to her website at bellabonitadesigns.com, you can also sign up for her newsletter and keep up to date with her. Melissa Long Wilson was another featured designer that day. She is a pillar of the textile community in Wichita and beyond. She does so much with upcycling. She's won numerous awards and recognition and she crafts spectacular pieces of art that you can see on her website at mlware.com. You can also purchase dyeing kits and bags and other things there. And last but certainly not least is Nina Winter, who I may have mentioned before. Nina was sharing her own designs and her studio tissue and her own lovely self with us Saturday. She'll be hosting two very exciting upcoming events. One is on April 27th, where she'll be celebrating slow fashion, and I'm proud to say I'll be part of that as well. The other is Vibration Community Fashion Show. This is a show being sponsored by Finishing School for Modern Women, and 100% of the proceeds from this will go to Camp Destination Innovation, which is a STEM learning camp for teens. The other very exciting thing I did this past weekend was go to the Spring Pottery Sale at Wichita Pottery. This is one of their annual events, but this year Wichita Pottery is introducing a new exciting feature, which is Porta Pottery. Yes, you heard that right. You can look for this portable pottery bus at an event near you. This is really such a cool concept. For a nominal fee, I want to say $5 because that's what I remember hearing, but that seems so low that like I have to be mistaken. But I think for $5, you can try your hand at throwing pottery. And because it would be impossible for you to take home your finished work that day, you will also receive a complimentary mug made by a professional potter. This is really a super value and super cool because you can try something before you commit to taking a class. Inside at the pottery sale were so many lovely things and I would like to expand more on some of the artists there in an upcoming video. However, my mom was very proud of the mug she bought and insisted that I share this. This is a piece by one of the instructors there at Wichita Pottery, Lydia, and I think it's really lovely too. I'm going to wrap up this weekend arts review, but be sure to check out these wonderful Wichita artists and show them some love. I'll be sure to link to them in the description. And if you like this video, go ahead and please subscribe. I plan on making more art, craft, and nature related videos, so look out for those. And heck, go ahead and check out some of the other videos I've made if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and have a lovely week.